This is going to be a two-parter. I see we have a glass that's smaller at the bottom than it is at the top. We have a volume formula for it, but they also tell us that it has a maximum volume of 473, and they want us to solve for K. So this is a, a pretty standard situation where we replace volume here with 473, and then all we would have to do is solve for our K value here. But remember, we can just have Desmos do all our algebra for us. So I pull up Desmos, and I type in the exact equation, except I replace K with X. And it automatically tells me that, you know, if I look at my answer choices, it's probably the one close to 10. But remember, if you're ever getting a line like this that's not giving you an exact value, it's because you're equal sign. You want to first get it equal to zero. So if I subtract 473 from both sides, I can get rid of this. This turns into a zero. And then you get rid of your equal zero. And you should see that it now gives me a point. So I can see it's like 10.1 if we round that 10.11. I jump back to my problem and we can see it's definitely answer choice D here. And for part two, because it's connected to this cup, they're asking us if we're pouring water into this glass at a constant rate, which of the following graphs best illustrates the height of the water? So you might think because the pouring is constant, well, then it's going to look like this, right? But our glass is not constant. It's going to fill up faster at the start than it is at the end. So what we should see is something that's more exponential. It's faster early on, and then it kind of slows down as the cup gets wider and wider, right? So we have two exponential graphs here. This would just be the same height the entire time. This one is slow at the beginning and then speeds up, which would be the inverse of what we see. This one is saying fast at the start because it's smaller at the bottom, and then it slows down as the cup gets wider. It's going to be C here.